Hi, in this video I'll share with you which are best picture presets and which settings you need to tweak to get optimal picture quality from Samsung's Q60A 2021 TV. In front of us is 43 inch version, but these recommendations are applicable to other screen sizes and even other models, because as you will see, these menus and settings are very similar or even the same as in my previous video for Samsung's AU7100 series. The very first thing you need to do is make sure that TV is in home mode. To do that, let's go to main menu, go left until we come to settings, then here we find general option, next system manager, and at the bottom, you will have usage mode. Make sure it is set to home mode. Next, you need to choose the best performing picture preset. So once we're in home menu, if we go left and up, you will see this picture mode option. And as I press OK, I will cycle through different presets and the best performing for all types of content, live TV, movies, TV shows, sports, are movie and filmmaker mode. By default, TV will come in standard picture mode, which is far from accuracy and it changes the way picture looks too much compared to the original source. So, as I mentioned, movie or filmmaker mode, and this applies to both SDR and HDR content. When it comes to gaming, you need to enable game mode and the control is right here. So you just press OK. And now you will have this game bar at the bottom showing you some useful information which you can bring back if you press play and pause button on the remote. So long press will bring this menu. You will have several options here and you can also enter into game mode settings for more detailed adjustment. For this demonstration I'll use filmmaker mode and one thing I like to disable right from the start is ambient light sensor. And you do that if you go to settings, general, power and energy saving and here you see control called brightness optimization. So if you enable it, then you can set minimum brightness and TV will adjust backlight depending on how much light there is in the room. But for the most consistent result, I recommend that you turn it off. And what you should also do is make sure that as you are changing picture modes, that this setting remains disabled. So it's good to do this very quick check. Now people usually tell me, yes, I know filmmaker mode is the most accurate, but picture is too dim, I don't like it. Which controls should I use to make picture brighter? Well, you can do that in expert settings. And the most important control is brightness. As this is TV from QLED series, it's got powerful backlight. So as you can see at 23, this was my optimum value at around 180 nits. But if you want brighter, you can simply adjust it right here. Now, you can also use gamma control at the bottom here. And you have BT.1886 or 2.2 values. And then if you select BT.1886, you can further tweak it right here. So you can also tweak it until picture looks okay for you in your environment. I always recommend that you use free test patterns to check black and white levels. To check white level, you need to use contrast control. Usually it is set too high, so you need to lower it a little bit. And for black level, which is usually correctly adjusted, you need to use shadow detail control. What is also very important is white balance, mainly make sure that color tone is set to warm too. And when you switch to game mode, game mode will have it 
at standard which is with too much blue in picture so make sure that game mode is also set to warm too. If you have calibration equipment there is 2 point and 20 point settings available. You can also adjust color space settings, there is color control to adjust overall saturation of all colors and then if you have equipment you can fine tune primary and secondary colors in color space settings menu. If you don't have equipment then keep it at auto. Coming to motion, this TV is using 60Hz panel so there is no blur reduction available. If we enable picture clarity settings you will see that we only have judder reduction so the amount of soap opera effect you can tweak here. Black frame insertion under the name LED clear motion. Enabling this will introduce flickering on certain signals. Also it will dim picture a little bit and in motion it's not really that beneficial since you know panel is not fast enough to display high amount of details in motion. So that's the reason why I keep it disabled and then there is noise reduction to reduce this uh, noise and artifacts in picture. For high quality content you don't need that. So overall if you disable picture clarity altogether you are not losing anything. In fact you will get a very nice movie watching experience without any distraction, any artifacts. One tip related to HDR and its brightness. If you find HDR too dim and you see that brightness and contrast are already at max, then I would recommend that you go to this gamma control and adjust it to the value which is ok. If that doesn't help enough then you have contrast enhancer which at low value will give you brighter image and maybe save you from this dim image which is not appealing and doesn't look good. And this brings us to the end of this video. As you saw with few visits to user menus you can adjust picture and make it more natural, more appealing and you will be able to see content the way it should be seen. Of course with calibration equipment you can get even better result, you can fine tune white balance and colors. But for most users just switching to those accurate picture modes and doing small adjustments will bring much satisfaction. If you need more details about picture settings there are PDF documents containing more details about SDR and HDR picture and you can find more info in the description. With that I'll end this video. Thank you again for watching. Let me know if you have some questions or some additional tip that you would like to share with others. And that's all from me. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.